Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Miranda and we're finally getting to the video that I am probably most requested or most asked about to make and that is me cutting my hair and how I cut it and how I style it and I'm finally to a point where I need to cut my bangs because parts of them are too long. And yeah, disclaimer, don't cut your hair yourself if you haven't before or if you don't feel confident in your abilities. I've been cutting my own hair myself since I was 16. That's six years, that's crazy. But just, so you guys know, I have been doing this for a very long time, so I kind of know what I'm doing to my own hair. I also recommend doing small parts at a time. Don't just whack off a whole bunch at once. You want to take your time and just try and not do too much because you can always cut more, but you can't just magically grow it back instantly. Um, I'm just going to be doing my bangs. Um, I really don't cut my layers or anything. I've had them for a very long time. Um, I don't really touch my ends a whole lot. Sometimes I'll trim them if they're like really, really dry. But for now, just doing my bangs because I need to. Um, my bangs got to this point because, as you guys probably know, over the summer, I had cut straight across bangs, and I let them grow out so I could do a side swept bang. And this is the result of my side of my straight across bangs growing out. So they were straight across, and now they're obviously a lot longer to where they're just not anymore. So what I'm gonna do. I may have to cut off some other like non bang pieces, just because those can get too long. Which does create layers as a result. I might trim these. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of gather the sections that are bang. I'm kind of dividing it. If you guys can see where I'm kind of cutting the part off at, I'm just kind of moving everything else out of the way. I actually really liked how my hair looked when it was like really short still but growing out. So I may try and do that. First, I'm gonna kind of trim off some of my layer pieces and I cut my hair dry because then I can actually see the length that it will be. So I'm done with those layers just to kind of give those a little trim. But, wow, this has grown out a lot. I mean, before they were like here, now it's down here. That's crazy. What I'm gonna do to try and get them short like i said just cut off very very small pieces at a time and i i've always held my hair kind of straight down while i cut it i'm just gonna kind of do shorter pieces at a time because i don't want to create straight across bangs again because those are too short that actually that actually might be perfect They weren't too long, so I didn't have to cut a lot off, but they kind of get to a point where my bangs become a little bit top heavy, where they're really long up top, but the rest of my hair isn't quite as long enough to balance that out, and then it kind of just looks funny. But I think that's pretty good. And I just have, um, I'm pretty sure these are hair scissors. I mean, I took them from my mom because she doesn't cut hair anymore. She used to cut um, our bangs when we were little to keep them straight across and short. But now I have them and they work pretty good for me. But yeah, I do cut my hair dry, like I said. So 
I can see the exact length that it is because when it's wet, it's a little bit longer, but when it dries, it does shrink a little bit. And it's just so I can see what I'm doing. I will cut the ends of my hair when they're wet because that gives you a crisper, clean cut. My bangs, I don't mind that they're choppy because that's just kind of the look that works for me anyway. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I actually really like this. I just showered yesterday, so my hair is still a little bit not as poofy and stuff. This is a very lackluster video, so I'm sorry if this wasn't that interesting, but this is literally something that I'm requested to do a lot, and I'm asked a lot how I cut my hair and stuff, so that's literally it. I have a video from when I was 19 also cutting my hair, and it's pretty much the same thing. I've told people that that video is still my same technique, kind of, I guess, of cutting it, but I guess you guys just wanted an updated one, which is fine. I'm happy to do it, but yeah, that's really it. I mean, I'm not a cosmetologist. I've never been to cosmetology school. I'm not claiming to be a hair artist. I'm not claiming that this is the right way to do anything. But it's what works for me, and it's how I avoid the salon, which I plan to keep doing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Now I need to curl my hair, because your girl cannot stand having straight hair. I need to dye my hair black again, too, because this is just weird.